Hey, welcome to another best of AI video tutorial. In this short video, I'm going to explain how you can use code interpreter to write copy for your landing pages, your websites, your advertisements, whatever the case may be. I'm going to show you exactly this unique method that I think is really powerful. So the first thing is we're going to combine two things. The first thing we're going to combine is code interpreter. And then the second thing is we're going to combine another unique method that I use for ChatGPT, which is teaching it something. I actually made a video talking about this. So I'll put a link in the um, somewhere on this screen here and you can go click it and check it out. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to one, upload a file into ChatGPT and tell it to read the file. And then secondly, we're going to teach ChatGPT how to create these headlines that we want for our landing page based off these guidelines. So I'm going to run through the prompt with you and show you how this works. So the first thing is I always start the prompts by telling it that you are something, right? So in this case, you are a CMO. You are creating a new marketing offer and you need to think about pre-headlines, header and sub-headlines. And the offer is an AR course that will help professionals to upscale and use AI to improve their productivity. These people are fearful that they will be replaced by AI, uh, but they know learning AI will help them become a powerful force in the workplace, right? And then I want you to re read two reports. One report will be a PDF while the second will be in the quotes below, right? So. If you watch my video on prompting, which is another video that we created, basically you want to teach ChatGPT the formatting, the constraints that you want it to follow. You want to ex be really specific and specify what you want to happen, right? And what the context of this report or what the context of the headline, pre-headline, sub-headline, whatever you're trying to get the outcome to be, you need to give it a bit more context in order to get the outcome that you want, right? So here we go. So in quotes, and this is what I said, I said, one report will be a PDF while the second will be in the quotes below. So this is the quotes, right? And this is just a report talking about how there is a skill gap and, you know, there are opportunities for people to learn new skills, to become a better employee or become a better business owner, whatever the case may be. Right. So that's that's the first thing. Then after that, I said, take the content from the reports, meaning the PDF that will upload as well as what was in the quotes above and then create a uh, pre-headline, headline, and sub-headline base, based on the below guidelines, okay? So the guidelines, now this is where the second thing we're combining, right? We're teaching chat GPT how to create these headlines properly, right? And this actually comes from a blog post that I read all the time. So I basically, I just copy that blog post, put it in quotes, and then say, okay, follow, follow this person's lead, right? Based off this guidelines, how can you create headlines based on what we're trying to sell, but also based on the reports that are, you know, that are talking about upskilling and there's a skill gap in the workplace, et cetera, right? So that is what we're gonna do. So let me hide this and then I'm gonna upload that report, that PDF. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna read that PDF. It's going to read what was in quotes. It's gonna follow those guidelines and then it's gonna give me 10 headlines, sub headlines, pre headlines. And yeah, we'll, we'll run this and see what it looks like. So you'll see the first thing that it's going to do is basically tell me what it's going to do, right? So here, here we go. First, I will read the content of the PDF you uploaded to extract relevant information that can be used to create the compelling headlines, right? So now it's literally going in and it's reading this PDF and you can see it's doing all this work on the back end, which is really cool, right? Now it's saying the content from the PDF provides some interesting insights, blah, blah, blah. And it's just, you know, basically telling me a summary, if you will, of what was said in that PDF. Now, this is really cool because you can literally do this with, you know, if you had surveys from customers or if you had PDFs that your executives gave you, or if you had reports that, you know, you found on the internet, right? Like I did, you can literally just upload this and tell it exactly what you want. So here we go. Now it's saying using this information from the PDF, along with the content that you provided earlier and another report that was in the quotes, like I said, ChatGPT is going to craft 10 headlines based on the formulas. Here we go. So now it's actually doing that work here and it will spit that out in a moment. So um, here we go. So the first one, AI mastery, why it's a key to career security, right? And here we go. So these are the headlines. And now, what we can do, because we have headlines, now we can say, I want you to create, perfect. Please create 
a sub headline that supports the main headline and also give me a description or like let's see let's uh a description with more supporting or let's say a paragraph more supporting information or something like that right so now what it's going to do is run through those 10 and it's going to give me a subheadline, right? Subheadline, here we go. Supporting paragraph, boom. So now you now you get to see like the process of creating copy with AI, right? It's all about one teaching it, right? Giving it the context that you want, the constraints that you need. And again, watch that video that I made and telling it exactly what you want. So now I can say, okay, please do this for all of the 10 headlines. Right. And now it's going to do that for all the 10. So there we go. Now it's going to write that subheadline, the main headline paragraph for all of those headlines. And then again, if you don't like any of these, you can say, hey, please create 10 more, right? Please create 20 more. But by using information, right? By using the code interpreter and telling it to read the PDF, read the document, read the spreadsheet, the PowerPoint, whatever it is, and then take that relevant information and then teaching it something by, you know, in this case, I taught it, okay, this is how you craft a proper headline, right? These are the formulas that you need to follow. Please take what was in the PDF, what was said in the PDF and the context that I gave you, follow those guidelines that, you know, that I provide on how to create that proper headline, subheadline, et cetera, and then combine everything, right? So not only are you teaching it, but you're giving it context, you're giving it context, but then you're also giving it relevant information that it can use to support what you're trying to sell or offer to your audience right so by using this method by using the code interpreter and providing it you know additional context you're really able to create powerful copy right and then of course you can go layer layers deep and say hey can you rewrite this in this format right you can teach it other things and say hey can you rewrite these 10 headlines and follow the ada format right whatever the case may be you can get really creative and get really specific but with this with this uh, technique, you can create really powerful headlines, really powerful copy. And again, AI is not necessarily going to create the magical thing that you want unless you teach it, right? Unless you tell it what the outcome you want. And then you can just take this and add your flair to it, right? Maybe you like bridge the skills gap, boost your productivity. You can combine some of these together, right? So now you can mix and match different headlines, mix and match different subheadlines, mix and match different paragraphs and come up with really compelling copy that, you know, would have taken you way longer, but it took you less time because you gave it the context, you gave it additional supporting evidence and relevance to help you, right? And that's all AI is. It's a tool to help you, but it will only help you if you know how to use it and manipulate it to give you the outcomes that you want. So that's my quick tip on how to use Code Interpreter to write better copy. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos. I'm always in here tinkering around with how to use ChatGPT to write copy, headlines, pre-headlines, subheadlines, body copy, sections of websites. So I have a lot of different ways that you can create really cool copy. So let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see more videos like this. But that's it for this video. Make sure you give us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And also go to bestofai.com so that you can Browse and search over 7,000 AI tools and figure out what tools you need to use in your workflow. So that's it for today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.